Now, our next guest today is a very good friend of the show and has recently opened the doors to her home for an all-access look at her whirlwind family life with husband Tyson. Well, now it's got even more chaotic. They have just welcomed their seventh baby. I know, it's so lovely here to tell us more. Please welcome Paris Fury. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Oh, you look so beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. And fresh. I'm not fresh. I haven't slept for three weeks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Literally talking backstage, and she went, I just didn't sleep at all last night. But I said, How do you look so yeah. amazing? A bit of makeup, polyfiller. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting because we're all going, How do you do that? And that is the title of your new book, Paris Fury How Does She Do It? Because I think that seems to be a question, particularly having seen the, the Netflix yeah. show of how does she do it? How do you manage the family, marriage Tyson, your work that you do? I mean, it's so It sounds much. unbelievable <laughs> now when you listen to it like that. But I think when I wrote my first book and when people started to get to know me, that's what they all asked. They kept coming up to me or my messages in my Instagram kept saying, how do you do it? How do you do it? So when they said, did you want to do another book? I was like, well, this is where we've got to aim with this. So, yeah, that's... That's uh, what how I do you do it? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I just struggle daily. <laughs> but I did put in some serious tips in there on how I juggle the kids, how I'm a mum, how I'm doing business, how I like support Tyson in his work. And um, yeah, I've tried to write it down, document it well in there. Mm. Um, welcome. We said congratulations on your seventh child. Yes. Yeah. So I've this seen is, it. Um, <laughs> His name is Prince Rico Paris Fury. So your name is in there this yes. time. Yes. Well, I have seven kids and none of them's named after me at all. And we're on the fence whether this is the last one or not. So oh. Tyson <laughs> said, you may as well get it in there while you can. Um, so, yeah, we called him Rico after his cousin, who was actually um, murdered last year. I, so that was how he come about. And then Paris was after me. So when oh. you say you're on the fence, who's on the fence? You, Tyson, both of you? I think it's a little <coughs> bit of both. I mean, every time I have a baby, I stop and I say, that's the end of it now, no more. And then they get to, like, nursery age, they go off and I get this little inkling inside and I think I want another one. But mm. I don't know, seven is a lot, I'm not going to lie. It's very busy in my house, very, very busy. <laughs> yeah, but eight's a nice number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even it out, it sounds uh, good. I'm one of eight. Yeah, yeah my granny good. had eight. Yeah, it's but a good number. on the other hand, it's... It's hectic. It is hectic on a daily basis. So just getting them up in the morning. I wrote about it in the book about trying to lay all their school uniforms out, get them all away, get them all out the door by nine o'clock. It's it's hard work. So. Well, I was mm. just about to ask you that because we had that uh, a, a conversation earlier about choosing, uh, you know, the children's clothing and everything. Yeah. So are you in charge? Because there's so many of them. Do you let them be in charge and you just let them wear whatever? Or because I know I saw an episode yeah. where it was like, I want to no, I want to wear this. I no, I try and organise them. I'm a very organised person. I, I like to kind of be in charge. So I lay all their clothes out and the little ones, they're not really interested. Don't get me wrong. On an odd time, they'll be like, I want to wear a Peppa Pig jumper, so you've got to let them go with it. <laughs> but then I've got older ones who are now getting their own opinions and their own teenage dress sense. Yeah. And sometimes I let them go because my oldest daughter, she's thought, 14. Yeah. She's confident and I think, yeah, you, you're appropriate. That's nice. That's lovely. And then some days you're like, whoa, get back in that door. That skirt's too short. Them boots are too high. Or it's the opposite. It was like today we was coming down to London and she wanted to wear grungy jeans and a giant hoodie. I was like, no. But you've got to let him have a little bit. What of about rate. Tyson? Is he a strict daddy with things like that? Would he say go and change if he didn't? No, think I think it was he just leaves them to it. I think he rolls his eyes sometimes with the, you know, the short dresses and things. Mm. But I think he leaves it down to me. Mm. I've got to be the strict one. Is he hands on, Dad? Yeah, very hands on. Uh, when he's at home, he's not mm. at home at the minute, so he can't be hands on at all. So I'm totally left. Sinking terribly. So but... when he, so when he announced, because we saw and you know we've seen him a couple of times saying that's it, I'm done, I've retired, I'm leaving it all behind, and you all seem quite relieved when yeah. that happens. And now we know that he's announced he's going back. He's training for a fight at the end of the month, yep. I believe, isn't it? Yeah. So... On the 28th, he's fighting in Saudi Arabia, and he was meant to be retired, and then obviously last year he came out of retirement, was on the show. Um, so, yeah, we're off, we're off again, back into the ring. Did, you, did he discuss that with you, or did he just have this urge and he just bursts out of him and says, I'm going back? I knew it was going to come back. I knew I've talked about it on the show, I've talked about it in my book, about how Tyson's career is always so full-on and how much I support him in it. Um, and I knew he would go back. I really, really wished he never. I wished that he would have stayed retired, but I knew it wasn't going to be that way. 
But I support him and I'm not looking forward to the fights. I don't look forward to any of his fights. Go to do the you have fights. to go? Yeah. I don't have to go, but I do go. I mean, I feel compelled that I must go and support him. I'm one of them people that if there's a problem, I like to run to it and try and fix it. Mm -hmm. So I always think if I'm there, even though I can't do nothing, I feel like I can help. Mm. Mm. But are you happy he's doing it or not? No, not really, but on the other hand, it's great to celebrate together, it's great to support your partner, and that's what he wants to do, so I've got to be there, I've got to be there for him. Do you ever get any time for yourself? Yes, I get... Yeah, I actually try my hardest to make time talk, for myself. Do you talk about that? Cos we were talking earlier to the professor saying, I know it's difficult, women are so busy, who you more than most, mm -hmm. just to find, even if it's five minutes, to yourself. I How think you've you got to that? create that five minutes for yourself. As women, as mothers, I think you need that time and whether it is a girls' night out, whether it's uh, half an hour in the gym, whether it's a walk down oh, the Oh, there's front. that word again. Work with it, you've got to get there. I didn't like it last year, but now I like it. But I think anything for yourself, anything to do for your own moment, and I think you need it as a, as a woman, I think we need that little mm -hmm. half hour and just to fix yourself, make yourself feel good. And yeah. being around other women, I think, is great as yeah. well, isn't it? Because you can talk about all the things that you're going through that 100%. you like. You know, that support from other women is great. Like, yeah. just being here and talking to you girls, it's like, it feels wonderful to have that bit of back chat and know, you know, you yeah. know where it's coming from. You're a mother, you're a yeah. woman, you're a businesswoman. You've got that support. Yeah. And speaking of that, you credit your mum with yeah. your parenting skills. Which oh, you... yeah. My mum is a big part of my life, and I've talked about it in the book, how she sort of taught me that nothing's out of reach, nothing's impossible, everything... She always said to us, you can do anything, you can do, do anything at all. And I really believed it. Like, if you put me in a plane now, I'd think I could fly it. I know I'd need some <laughs> lessons, but I know I could get there. <laughs> and I, I've always had that kind of can-do attitude. Yeah. And I think it comes from my mother's input. Yeah. And I presume, for, for Tyson, that must be a good feeling for him, that when he's away, he knows he's got a strong woman at home, you're capable, you know, you miss him, but you, you're not falling apart without him, you're yeah. running the home, you're looking after the kids and doing your... Exactly, thing. I've got to. I've always had um, a very strong nature and I think we work well together because when Tyson's at home, he's hands-on, he helps out and when I'm by myself, I know I can do it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, you are Wonder Woman. We oh, think, yeah. we believe yeah. you could fly that plane. Yeah. We yeah. do. <laughs> we absolutely do. Vincent, um, it's great to see you. Congratulations again on Prince Rico Paris oh, he's Fury. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh, Paris Fury, how does she do it? Is the question we ask ourselves all the time, but she does. Um, that is out now. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we wish him well in his fight at the end mm -hmm. of the month. Thank you. Um, and thank you, Sally Divner, everybody. <laughs>